There are two sides to this argument. If what you say is true, then the points of this argument become irrelevant. The problem is that they are relevant to me, and if I say so, then let us do so. Please, you must help here. Help us. You can do this. All you have to do is say something. Say anything. It doesn't matter if it's coherent, if it makes sense. Those things don't matter anymore. This is the beginning. Open up and you're free. But you will. You can. You have. You need to know what the boundaries of this argument are before you go saying there is no argument. There are no arguments. Why? Why shouldn't there be an argument? Why shouldn't we desire to prove something? Because there's nothing to prove. We've already discussed that neither of us have any connection whatsoever. So whomever you spoke with that informed you otherwise is wrong. But why? Since when has there been a mathematical inclination towards a problem without a solution? <laughs> yes, you keep on going on. But what will outlast the other? Aspiration or the moment you realize there was, nor is, none of either. You think you can beat me? If there aren't two arguments, then what do you suggest? Less, none, more, all, everything, nothing, without, within? Which is what? None. And or all. Fine. Take your hope and arguments. Hold on to them. Hold them near to your heart. Take your sides and have them rock you into a deep, deep sleep. There you dream. Shut your eyes and don't wake up. But here your dreams mean nothing. Your arguments will fall far apart and so will mine crumble. A day or night will never come when you solve the unsolvable, nor will you exist in non-existence.